So hello everyone. I'm Leonardo Torres. Thanks Tip, for having me. Uh, today's topic is going to be urban network as a service. So I'm part of the subgroup inside Tip, uh, working on network as a service, on urban network as a service. So hopefully we can today cover some of the topics that are around this uh, very interesting uh, development in the industry. So the first question that probably all of you are asking is, what is network as a service? So network as a service is a new approach to building, deploying, and operating telecom network infrastructure. Uh, it started many years ago with the cloud uh, providers that they were used to offering their customers network as a service offering where they can use the infrastructure deployed by these uh, cloud players without owning the infrastructure, but the customers can manage their own network or networking service. So it's a model where an independent operator provides, builds, designs, maintains, and operates a network on behalf of its customer. Typically, those customers are the mobile network operators, the MNOs, and the typical arrangement between the independent operator of the network as a service and its customers is uh, a pay per consumption model. So in this uh, model, the network as a service operator funds the capex and opex required to buy the equipment, to buy the, the necessary infrastructure, um, to deploy this telecom uh, network. And the customers, they pay as they use the, the network based on their capacity. It might or, or might not include a uh, license spectrum. And we will talk a little bit more about what is the model on the urban network of service. So moving to the second topic, what is specifically urban uh, network as a service? Uh, and why it is needed? Well, the reason is that in this uh, world of uh, great growth in data consumption, there is a need uh, in deploying hyper-densified uh, networks in urban areas. And that poses a lot of challenges for mobile network operators. Challenges such as the lack of easy access to infrastructure and to technology to deploy these networks, uh, they need to find a viable business case to support uh, the deployment of standalone networks on urban area, the scarcity of available assets, and some constraints in the deployment or in the resources to deploy this network, such as dealing with the complexity of municipalities or private players that own the infrastructure needed to uh, deploy these radios, antennas, transport equipment, et cetera. So aligned with TIP mission, uh, the urban network as a service goal is to find a way to accelerate uh, the deployment of telecom network in urban environment by using open, interoperable, uh, disaggregated, and standard-based telecom solutions that can deliver high quality connectivity in urban areas. So this is the main goal and the reason why we are focusing today on urban network service. Then I think that the third topic that is interesting to approach is what is the business model and what are the uh, trends in the industry with regards to network as a service and specifically to urban network as a service. So, Definitely there is an industry trend uh, since the 5G deployments are demanding a lot of resources and a lot of and posing a lot of challenges on mobile network operators. So both edges of the network, the urban, the rural, or the ultra-rural, are quite challenging for the MNOs to deploy the traditional standalone type of uh, networks and infrastructure. On the urban side, because it is uneconomic in many cases to cope with the challenges that I described before to deploy this urban network by themselves. On the contrary, on the urban side, uh, the reason why network as a service makes sense is because 
it is an economical for DMNOs to deploy a standalone network to serve so few customers. So for different reasons, uh, we truly believe that the edges of the network, the urban and the other extreme, the urban, the rural side, are the ones more prone to the network as a service uh, concept. So the network as a service makes sense for the MNOs at the edges of the network, and it's uh, still to be proven the, the business model that makes sense for all the stakeholders, although uh, a model such as a consumption-based or a combination of consumption-based and a fixed fee might make sense for all the stakeholders. Um, and of course, there are not too many examples out in the industry yet of independent infrastructure providers uh, supplying this network as a service concept, but many companies are working on testing and uh, proving to uh, all the stakeholders that this model can make sense for them, both technically and economically. The fourth main topic that I wanted to address is what are the benefits and the challenges of this network as a service concept? So the benefits are, are two and are very clear. The proposal is to accelerate the timeline for deployment and to lower the cost of this deployment. So on the first one, why do we think that network as a service or urban network as a service can pass in the deployment phase? Because you can use uh, existing sites by many MNOs at the same time, many mobile network operators at the same time. You can benefit from existing negotiations and agreements to use the public right of way, either to uh, place equipment for radio access network, but also for transport equipment. Uh, there is a benefit for using the same software and the same hardware, so the time for deploying those is faster than each of the MNOs deploying uh, in different timelines and sequentially. And uh, finally, because uh, the the idea of having just one company or one actor dealing with the complexity of uh, getting the permit and all the necessary requirements to deploy in the urban uh, space might be faster than having multiple stakeholders interacting with these uh, authorities that can be a cumbersome problem. On the cost side, we definitely believe that it, is, it can be a solution that lowers the cost because of the access to shared poles, transport equipment, fiber, and hardware and software to deploy a radio access network. Also, there are synergies in network operation and maintenance, synergies in software upgrade, the possibility to access to managed services provided by a neutral host uh, company that is the, the owner and operator of this network as a service. And finally, because you can achieve a faster return on investment on this network infrastructure. So those two pillars are the ones guiding the uh, benefits or the pros uh, of deploying this network. Of course, there are a lot of challenges. The maturity of the open run environment, the coexistence, of these open run components uh, combined with a brownfield uh, landscape where there will be some existing networks based on traditional RAN architecture by the same carriers uh, or mobile network operators. Uh, the ability to get permits as well can be challenging in urban environments. So finally, what we are doing at the Urban Network as a Service subgroup. So along with some other colleagues, our other neutral host company, we are planning to test and validate the benefits and the challenges as well of both 4G and 5G shared access network as a service solution. They are intended to be deployed on urban areas, both outdoor densification solution as well as indoor solutions. So we are working with existing components, with existing vendors, 
relying on the capabilities of TIP and all the existing ecosystem. So down selecting equipment and the most suitable technologies uh, to deploy this disaggregated, open, and um, standard-based solutions that can uh, demonstrate a meaningful reduction in the total cost of ownership for the MNOs and for the neutral cost company. They can also prove that it is a faster way of deploying this network. At the same time, uh, the idea is to publish, uh, or, or before going into the publishing, I will, I will describe the attempts to do lab and field trial in different geographies. Uh, currently, we are working in Asia, in Malaysia specifically, but also in Latin America with two trials in Mexico and Brazil with two or more MNOs in each of the market in order to prove that this model makes sense to all the stakeholders. The idea is that after this field trial, uh, there are going to be publications of white papers and, um, and documents showing the architecture or the blueprint, both on the technical side and the commercial side, as well as uh, an anonymized business case to show the benefits to all stakeholders of sharing this infrastructure at uh, the urban level. So in a nutshell, this is uh, a very brief uh, explanation of what Network as a Service is, Urban Network as a Service, and the work that we are doing with it. So hopefully it is uh, useful to everybody listening to, to this uh, recording. Happy to answer questions offline. And thank you everyone for having me.